We are going to do the play entitled Discovery by Kwamin Stewart. The character is Reveal, a 17-year-old male twin who is in training to become an astronaut. He is one day walking home from his sister, um, and we'll discover that later. We have Gift, who is shy, tough, female water polo star, who is the twin. And we will meet Free, who is a medic, who's 23 year, years old, and she's administering the first aid treatment to Reveal. They have been walking home with, together when they are startled by a dog. He is now in the back of an ambulance. Reveal is strapped down while Free is evaluating him and Gift is observing what's going on. Can you hear me, sir? Can, can you squeeze my finger? What, what actually happened to him? We were, we were walking home from practice training when this dog we had a fence, inside of a fence jumped up with this thunderous bark and startled my brother to the point of blacking out. Okay, let me put some of uh, this chemical under his nose. Did, did he hit his head? No, no. He didn't hit his head. I caught him. It just happened so fast. Reveal is floating on his back and he is unheard by free or gift. What's, what's going on, gift? How come I'm on my back? Help! Help! How come his arms are becoming rigid? Do, do something! Uh, the, Water. The, the IV I put into your arm uh, should start to hydrate you soon. I, I also checked your vital signs, and, and there's nothing irregular. Could, could you tell me what happened to you? I just... I just remember walking and talking to my sister. Get, and, and then I, I started falling. Right here, brother. Falling? Yeah, falling into water. How, how come I'm wet? How, how come I'm in restraints? What's going on here? Calm down, brother. I'm not going to allow anything to happen to you. The restraints are only for precaution and your safety. Your sister said that you were startled by a dog. Do you, do you remember that? Yeah, I, I remember this enormous pressure in my head. And then I, I started seeing weird colors as if I was looking through a kaleidoscope. I'm so worried about you, brother. Do you think it has to do with the different levels of air pressures you're enduring through training? Just, what do you mean of these restraints? How, how dare you hold me under? I refuse to join. Well, no need to panic, sir. We are here to help you find the problems, some, some trauma. Two of the breathing exercises that we've been taught. These are the times to use your skills. I think we should free his hands. We don't need to panic me and adding extra stress. Do you know if he's experienced bloody noses or, or had any kind of trauma before? He has a fascination with space and unseen energy, so he spends hours practicing all sorts of breathing methods, and that has caused nosebleeds. No, no trauma as we know of. My lungs are burning. I need air. Are we almost at the hospital? A cold gift? What is, what is this laying to us? What is our purpose? I, I, I'm, I'm here to assess your injuries and to, to free your mind. The, the deeper you seek, the more effective your recovery will be. I'm virtue. Brother, no need to dismay. Please, relax. Let's hope so. End of scene one. Scene two is one year later. Reveal and gift and Love, who is the twins' mother, are now waiting for the doctor. And the doctor, who is named Guy, a neurologist, who's been monitoring the process of Reveal's recovery, enters the room with a medical chart in his hand. Uh, how's everybody today? <laughs> I, I, I briefly re reviewed your, sh your, your chart, and, and the headaches seemed like they, they will remain for you a while because we found a permanent damage around the lower cortex, and, and that's what's triggering the headaches. That's not something we wanted to hear, so is there going to be another treatment plan? Well, uh, we're going to continue the therapy sessions and uh, change his uh, medication uh, to the medicinal kind. Um, how does that sound? And uh, how are you feeling now, Reveal? Frustrated. 
agitated to have this permanent damage. And hearing this news just took me to a different level. The therapy sessions have been working, so I'm optimistic about this. Uh, uh, about, about, and I'm not sure about the medicinal until I do more research. Please, <laughs> Dr. Guy, help my brother. Because ever since this happened to him, he's super aggressive and verbally abusive for no reason. Excuse me, sister. I, I've tried sharing and, 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 and everything else about my severity of my pain. Calm down, son. You don't feel your actual pain, but how many nights have we rocked you to sleep? We empathize with you 100%. Yeah, I, I, I have also uh, sensed uh, his bad temper and um, his insensitive comments. Uh, when we are here to help you recover, please, uh, Find some control, quick, enough. Look, guy, mom, and gift. When I have these severe headaches, as if I, I, as if I enter time and everything is chilled to the bone, as if I'm in space and feeling like someone is jumping from space, doing a belly flop over and over again. So forgive me if I can't control my temper. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, son. Let's hope, doctor, that this new medicine and new therapy will do something. You know, there are times when I'm, I'm in the middle of the ocean, when a raft of waves, big waves are crushing down on me. Y'all know how it feels to be alone? I do. You're supposed to be a pair. Remember all those times you were sick? When we stayed together? You told me over and over how me, your upper mind, always healed you. I've noticed you've been Natasha ever since the day you were startled. The dog barks in the background. Since you mentioned that, how come you didn't alert me when you sensed the dog? So, you let all this negative energy build and build to the point of visions and physical pain because you assumed that, intentionally, didn't alert you about the dog? How come you didn't ask me? You should know me, brother. I'll never do anything like that. I'm your magic and intuition. How does that make you feel, hearing your sister share that with you? And son, I'm those thoughts that bring gratification whenever you allow yourself to connect with your upper mind. Hearing that actually needs some tension. But I still need to exit time completely until I'm positive that the meaning of these visions are Gift only added a small amount of anguish. I'm aware that y'all are a major component to my family, to my facility. <clears throat> well, I, I, I'm glad to hear uh, some, some progress uh, reveal. Uh, this uh, facility will assist you to reach those peak experiences through dedicated rehab. Uh, it seems like you stumble across uh, secrecy. Um, uh, will, if you're unsure, I don't know if I'm stumbling across secrecy, but there is something indeed larger than self. I do need to draw on my strengths like I used to. I'll figure it out. I know your potential, son, and we are going to help you cope with this in ways that when you do exit time, as you said, everything is going to be extraordinary. I can't wait for it to begin. End of scene two. Scene three. Reveal is in a rehabilitation center seven years later for his final therapy session. Everyone, gift, love, free, and guy, are sitting around and inside a jacuzzi for the last session of Reveal's therapy. Reveal is coming to the surface after being submerged under the water. have made exceptional strides over these years. Uh, speaking for myself uh, only, your adversities altered your state of reality initially, or I should say, um, you were in and out of time depending on the severity of your headaches. I do have to agree with that, Reveal. You never gave up on your therapy, and by allowing me into your life under your circumstances, showed me how strong you are. I can't, I can't accept this praise because if, if 
I didn't have y'all coming to my rescue at the most critical moments, I most definitely would be in another part of this treatment, of this treatment center. How often do you still have those visions? I have them once or twice a month. I just don't have any pain. I didn't know those vision, vivid thoughts still appeared on the fringe of your consciousness. I guess your meditation methods are paying off. Reveal stands looking around the center, wondering if anyone has noticed his presence. Coming to this center, when I'm really outside of myself, gives me much release. Did, did you ever discover if the dog uh, triggered something that was already on your lower subconscious, or was it triggered at that moment? Doing research on the divided mind syndrome, I learned that just missed the mild symptoms and patterns of moods because I wasn't aware of hypersensitive brain cells that trigger those reactions. I can almost pinpoint the sense of invasion. When did that conflict happen? Remember the time when we were about five and we went to the city pool for the first time and I just ran and jumped into the shallow end? And I sank to the bottom and I started to have nightmares. Do you remember when you were pulled out of the water and those thoughts about being on the other side of the spectrum? I think I came along that day. I'm not absolutely certain what y'all started, when y'all started to appear. Of course it was a different, it was at different stages of my existence. What I actually discovered is that it's completely normal to find a long time to vent. Identify patterns, be mindful, and help have self-talk. It's four of your own personalities who have their own attributes. I'm also learning that my inner dog allows me to experience those visions so I can improve on my competency. Whenever, whenever you have Whenever you can, manipulate your own mind and bring forth hidden powers. You are a, a borderline genius. Every path is unique, and I am just a humble guy who has found an extraordinary gift to spread love for tomorrow with gratification of being free. No expectations other than being a being of peace. So, I guess since I will spread love for tomorrow, I'll continue to be in love. Limpsing around again to make sure that no one noticed all the splashing. We hear a dog bark, hollering and reaching out as if trying to grab something out of the air that was never there. Once he noticed, as always, that no one's paying attention to him, Reveal exits the jacuzzi with confidence and renewed focus and energy. The end.